Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Yolo Tech Power Stick into the rear of your kayak. Now this is used to get those really cool over the shoulder from behind shots with the GoPro or whatever camera you like to use. And today I'm also going to compare the, the Yolo Tech Power Stick with my DIY Power Stick that I made right here on the channel with you guys a while back. This thing's worked out really good for a long time, but I'm going to go over the pros and cons between using each one of these. Stick around. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is TJ welcome to kayak USA if you end up liking today's video go check out my homepage I've got a ton of videos that are just like this and I've got a lot more coming so hit that subscribe button hit that like button and check out my other videos so today we are going to be installing the Yolo tech power stick now this is designed for the back of bass boats these are designed to plug into the anchor light on the back of a bass boat so you can get those really cool shots like you see here of me running down the river and uh, you just get some really cool footage of catching fish off the bow of the boat. Well, I've really wanted to use this on my kayak here lately and I figured out a way that I'm gonna be able to mount this and I'm gonna be able to use it either on my bass boat or on my kayak, just depending on which boat I decide to take out. I'll be able to just grab my power stick, pop it in and start recording. And the really cool thing about this is you have all day power. So once you put your camera, whether it's a GoPro or whatever you like to use on the top, these power sticks, have USB ports and they're powered by the anchor light adapter that you have on your boat. Now, I'm gonna link everything in the video description today, so make sure if you're interested in doing this build, I'll have everything in a link called the gear I use. You can click it, it'll take you straight to uh, everywhere I got this. Most of this stuff come off Amazon, so it'll be direct links to Amazon. So first, I'll tell you a little bit about the power stick. Now this is by Yolo Tech, it is the 53 inch power stick. Now. This is telescopic, it'll go up to 53 inches, and you can mount it, like I said, in the anchor lights. Now, this is an anchor light port, and I'll show you an up close picture here in a minute once we start the install, but this is just a rear boat anchor light port or a front boat navigation port. Now, you get these on Amazon, and they're really cheap, they don't cost that much money at all. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna install one of these into the back of my kayak so that I can pop this in, have all day power, and be able to film. Now, the difference in the Yolo Tech Power Stick versus the pole that I made. Now, I made this pole, I think on this channel about two and a half, maybe three years ago. Uh, this is telescopic and it goes, as you can tell, way further, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes way further out than 53 inches. So that's one of the pluses of having this. Uh, another plus of having this, the way I built it, is you can loosen it up and angle it out any which way you want. If you want to do way off the side of the kayak, if you want to maybe angle it out to the rear of the boat or the front of the boat, you have that option to do with the way I built it. Now if you haven't seen the video or you're interested in building this one, I will link it right here somewhere and I'll also link it at the end of this video. You can click it and it's bear with the video guys. Now that's an older video, it's when I first got started. I don't think the audio is that great, but I cover. Sorry, my air compressor kicked on right in the middle of me talking. But anyway, like I was saying, is I cover every single bit uh, in detail of how to build this yourself, how to put the mount on your kayak, how to mount it so you can work it around and how it, you can turn this to all day power. Now, the thing about using all day power with a DIY one that I built is you have to have a long, power cord for your GoPro or whatever camera. So I've got a six foot cord that I have to plug to my camera and when I push it out or you know I, I use the uh, telescope it out or whatever you want to call it, I can plug this in and then I have to run it all the way down and plug it into a USB port or an ice hole power box or something like that and I can con power the camera all day like that. Now, if you go with a power stick, the Yolo Tech power stick, the pros and cons with us using this one. Well, this is a fixed position mount, so you can order these, and I'll add different links to the different styles of these plugs, but this is a straight up and down plug. There's no changing the angle of this pole once it's mounted, so 
I'm gonna pop this in. When we plug it up, it's gonna go straight up and down. Now, with the Yolo Tech, you do have a little bit, it's got like a Ram Ball style mount at the top, so you do have a little bit of adjustability for the camera, and that, but that's only at the top, so you don't have that angle where you can swing it out on the side and stuff like that. But if all you're going for is a rear camera that faces the front of the kayak that you can run all day long and get some really cool shots, you know, you don't know when you're going to catch that big fish, so it's always good to have that camera rolling. So it's got its pros and its cons. It's also got its built-in USB ports, like I said, at the very top. Now, with that, you don't have to have that additional long cable that you have to run down and plug up somewhere. You just use your regular charge cable that goes with your camera. You plug it right into a USB port at the top, and you don't have to worry about any cables tangling. That's the only downfall with the one that I built. Works great. I still love it. I still use it every time I go out. But when I want to run the pole out really far, I have to kind of unwrap because I like to wrap my cable up the pole. So what I have to do is reach back, unwrap it a few times, get my slack out, plug it back up, and then extend it out. And then when I pull it back down, I've got to get that excess cable back in. So you don't have to worry about that with the Yolo Tech, which is a plus. Uh, and you can still get some pretty decent angles. So we're going to be mounting it straight up like this. So even when I go up with it, I don't know how much is in frame for y'all, but even when I go up with it, I'm still going to have that little bit of adjustment at the very top where I can angle the camera down a little bit so it's kind of overlooking. Now, if you're going to be doing this to the rear of your kayak and you're using a GoPro, I'm going to cover the GoPro because that's what I use. I'm not sure other cameras and other apps, but what I like to use is the GoPro app. Uh, it works with just about every GoPro now I think you can buy. They've got the app built in where you can control your camera from your phone and that's a great thing. So if I want to mount my camera at the very back of my kayak you don't have to turn around and climb back here to turn your camera on stop it you know stop record make sure everything's right you can literally open your app turn your camera on from your phone and you know do the settings from your phone hit stop and start recording with your phone so that's what i like to do as you see in this shot right here the wi-fi on the gopro is so good with the app i'm able to turn it on and off as I'm hauling my boat to the river. That's how I get these really cool shots of me crossing over the dam and uh, backing my boat down into the river. Uh, I don't have to get out and run back to the bass boat and turn the camera on and off. I can usually just open up the app, hit record while I'm going down the highway and it'll start recording right from my boat. So uh, I will say that I did add this one little thing if I know some of you guys are gonna ask. This is nothing but a rod leash. It's actually the, better, the best rod leashes on the market. They are from campingandkayaking.com. Y'all check them out. I'll link it below too. Uh, but what I did with this is I don't use these rod leashes for just rod leashes. I use them sort of a gear leash. I use it on everything from my bass boat, my kayak, my camping gear. I, I use them everywhere. But what I did was when I've got this on the back of my boat and I'm running 65 miles an hour, I'm always worried that something's going to happen. I'm going to hit a big wave and then my pole's going to shoot out. I'm going to lose my GoPro and my pole. So I just kind of attached it to my stick and then I hooked this to my boat somewhere. I'm not going to really do that on my kayak because I ain't worried. I'm not going to be going that fast on the kayak. Uh, the Bixby's fast, but it's not 65 miles an hour fast, but that's the only reason I've got this on here. So anyway, what we're going to do today is I'm going to install it into the rear of my boat and I'm going to show you how easy it is, how you guys can do it. I'm not going to stretch this video out because I know a lot of you guys just want me to get to the point. So I found a good spot. I think I'm going to put it Actually, I'm gonna put it on this side of my kayak today. And all we're gonna do is drill the hole. I'm gonna show you guys how to mount it. Now, you can mount these with screws. If you don't have access to get into your kayak with your hand to put nuts on the back of a bolt, uh, you can do it with screws. Just make sure you know you use the right screws. Use some that the teeth are wide enough to really bite into the plastic because you know the plastic's only so thick and you're only gonna have so many threads catching that plastic to hold this down. But if you're careful with it, you can do it with screws. Just use a little bit of silicone if you want to, or even some Gorilla Glue if you're gonna keep it there forever, uh, which you're gonna have to drill a pretty good size hole. We're gonna go up to, a, I think, an inch and an eighth size hole. Uh, so you're gonna have a hole there no matter what, so you're gonna make this permanent, I'm assuming. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys up close how I like to drill holes when I'm mounting stuff like this, and we're gonna get it stuck in the back of the kayak and see how it looks. 
All right, so when you're installing something like this on your kite, the best thing you can buy, and you can get these at Harbor Freight, I think these are called step-up bits. They're really small. They've got the sizes uh, written on the side of the bit. You can you know where you're at as you're drilling down. Uh, I know that this is a one and eight inch hole, and I've just got a set of calipers, and it's good to have some of these in your shop if you're doing a lot of mods like this. But what you can do, even if you're not good at reading calipers, you can use the caliper to mic the the widest dimension that you're going to be doing and then just keep it in that same position and then go to your step bit and hold it up to your bit and figure out exactly where you're going to be so we're right at one and eighth inch make sure that when you're drilling in your kayak you don't have any wires or cables i know that my rudder cables come through here somewhere i'm going to try my best not to hit them i hope i don't hit them but i think i'm is you can go slow with this bit so you can keep up with what's in on the other side of your kayak so I want to mount this with the tab facing backwards right in here and it's going to give me the right side over the shoulder shot really well so this is where we're going to do it right here. As you can see this cuts a good clean hole. I'm just going to go a little bit of time. Make sure I don't grab my cables. Stick my finger in there. Look how clean that hole is, guys. That is a really good, these are the best things to use when you're drilling into your kayak. All right, so I can see my bit and I'm only about an inch right now. I'm gonna go on down a little bit at a time just to see where we're at, let's see. One more step, and I believe that's it right there. And it makes a perfect hole every single time. I'm gonna spin it around because I believe I want it mounted just like that, and it's that easy. So now all I'm gonna do is take a regular drill bit, and I'm not gonna use screws because I've got this hatch here where I can reach under and put nuts on the back side of this, so that's all I'm gonna use is some regular screws, some washers, and I'm gonna use these little Teflon nuts that won't back off. So once I get it on there, I can put a little bit of silicone in there and know that it's not gonna leak. I'm not gonna have to worry about anything. I'm not gonna have to worry about it pulling out and we'll be able to pop the power pole in the back and have all day power for our camera. Grab me a drill bit, which I should have had out. Do a little dry fit, make sure everything fits good. Just like that. And all there's left to do is wire it up, put the nuts on the back. So before I go in it and I put the nuts on the back and I silicone it and all that, I do wanna let you guys know that I'll be linking these in the same description below uh, in the gear I use. They'll be linked in the same group with this. Uh, these are inline fuses that you can get off Amazon. You can buy them in a, a bulk like if you do a lot of projects like this, I buy these I think by the 10 pack or the five pack or something like that. And I've always got some of these in my tool toolbox here. And when I decide to do a project like this, I don't have to order you know one or two of them, I've got one here. And anytime I put anything on my boat, the lights, uh, gauges, anything like that, that I'm wiring in the boat, I always put an inline fuse on the hot side. And I'm gonna be adding that today. I'm not gonna go over how to wire this thing in today because it's just real, it's, it's simple guys, it's just a, a positive and a negative you just run it to your switch all you got to do is make sure you put a inline fuse in here and I, and I didn't mean run it to your switch all you got to do is run it to your battery source 
Uh, I run the Bigsby power on the back of my boat and I run the ice hole power box in the front of my boat and that's what we're going to run this to. We're going to run a wire all the way up to the front. I'm going to tap it into the rest of the wiring I've got going on in this boat and everything's going to run straight into my ice hole power pa uh, battery pack. And that's all it takes to do something like this. And once it's wired up, I'll be able to plug this thing in, lock it down, and have a power stick at the back of my boat, powering my camera all day long. All right, guys, it's that easy to install a power stick in the back of your kayak. Just like that, we've got, we've got it installed. You plug it up. Bada boom, bada bing. Now we can raise this up as high as we want behind our head, control it with our GoPro app or the app for your camera that you use or whatever, and be able to have that all day power. As long as you've got a big enough SD card, I think I run 64 uh, gig SD cards. Uh, I might have 128s in a couple of them, but if you've got a big enough SD card and you're filming on 24 frames a second at uh, the zoom, you know, the, not the zoom, the uh, wide view angle where it get, just gets a whole lot of footage at once, you can literally get probably a full fishing trip, eight hours out on the water, and not have to turn around and cut it off or anything. It'll just film all day long. Now, it is a whole lot of stuff to edit, so, uh, you know, to find where you catch those fish, but it's worth it to have because, like I said, you never know when that big one's going to bite. You never know if you're going to be able to get back there to turn your camera on. If you run something like this on the rear of your kayak, you want to catch that moment. You want that memory of you catching that big fish you know that you're gonna have that footage. So this is a really cool idea. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Yolo Tech, but Yolo Tech, hit me up. Uh, I love your product. I, I run it on both boats now, and I can't wait to get out on the water and try this out. If you like today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.